Hello students, here we are going to learn about OTDM networks. So in the recent past, uh, local area network with various network topologies and media access method have been proposed. So nowadays LAN must be capable of integrated multiple services like multimedia, uh, video conferencing and also fast database, uh, fast data access. So high performance interprocessor communications and many other high bandwidth applications also. So for this reason, future networks uh, have to provide it data rates in terms of GBPS. So higher data rates in terms of GBPS range on uh, demand with the high overall channel efficiency and minimum latency. So which can only be realized by photonic network or PON network. So the currently the utilization of the optical fiber bandwidth in high speed shared medium lens is limited in the few gigabits due to the electronics bottleneck the processing the optical signal in the network node. So in the consequences the node of the conventional uh, LAN communicate with the single low bit rate with each other. Since the network's handling of the data packets is uh, presently performed electronic, uh, electronically using uh, optoelectronic conversations at each node. So, in order to achieve aggregate data rate up to uh, TBPS range in optical processing method have to be applied. So, thereby removing the conversation between the electrical and optical domain in the optical signal path. So, a very promising technique in the context uh, is the optical time division multiplexing, uh, which will aggregate capability beyond the reach of the high speed electronics. So, in general, OTDM, optical uh, time domain uh, multiplexing, uh, local area network for the LAN. So, they provide interconnection with very high uh, guaranteed bandwidth. Uh, also, the uh, provide that the low latency and the broadcast capability resulting in the bandwidth on uh, on demand with the low access delay. So, the in contracts with the WDM, which network device of fiber bandwidth into a many optical uh, wave bands carrying informations at a rate of the uh, 2.5 to the 40 Gbps. So, that for the OTDM networks provide a higher data rate uh, greater than the 100 Gbps in the single wave band. So according to that, there is a many advantage of OTDM to use the short pulse to transmit a very uh, in the general form. So first is interconnections of ultra high speed node. Fast transmissions of very large data block. Switching of large volume or uh, traffic volume and flexible access to the medium networks. So therefore the OTDM network are suitable for satisfying the demand of mixed high speed traffic. So there are several theoretical and also the practical or experimental investigations on the OTDM networks. Uh, so the basically optical and uh, transparency is achieved by using uh, optical packets of the constant duration so which consists of variable bitrate payload and the header with the fixed data rate. So the spatial uh, spatial uh, ODTM node they provide uh, different uh, uh, parameters so at which multiple channels are multiplexed by OTDM and integrated into the network. So the lowest bit uh, rate employed with the network could be uh, 2.5 GB uh, gigabit per second corresponding to the particular uh, channel. So this can be done by multiplexing various channel of the specific node with respect to the processable bit rate of the destination node. So in order to achieve uh, particularly high speed uh, uh, LAN fulfilling the requirement of high bandwidth applications. So uh, optical uh, transparent ring or optical network with the maximum line rate of 100 uh, G gigabit per seconds employing the particular OTDM 
techniques has been present so in this particular diagram we have considered that the one network is there so the basic configurations uh, of uh, network so in this figure the four node is there one a one b uh, two a and two b so i'm starting with so node one a has the capability of transmission with an auxiliary bit rate of 100 gbps by optical time division multiplexing of the various local channels so this channel can operate with the k so here k is multiplied with the 2.5 gbps so i am talking about the k so this k multiple multiplies of arbitrarily chosen standard of the data rate of 2.5 gigabits per seconds so the header spread here header the header spread uniformly maintain the 2.5 gigabit per uh, second across the entire network so node 1b so node 1b also represent a otdm node equipped with the otdm d multiplexer also and optically clock recovery facilities so it can uh, properly process the corresponding 100 gigabits for signal sent from the particular node so the data exchange uh, between the low bit rate node like 2a and 2b and otdm node like 1a and 1b is also easily feasible since the optical clock associated with the otdm demultiplexer may be adjusted to the appropriate repetition rate in the case of 2.5 gigabits per second in order to extract the uh, desired low bit rate signal so naturally the otdm nodes have to know the particular otdm node have to know about the processing capabilities of their destination node uh, when they want to transmit a packet to them so this is a basically scenario basic configuration of the particular network 